trucks, the parade yeah. about us. Look, yeah, look what we came for. Yeah. Right, man. And, and definitely not far fetched, man. We, we read the scriptures that say, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow, man. And who is him that bendeth, man? America, man. America's always um, at these other nations uh, threatening them, threatening them with war, attacking them, man, with, with various missiles, man, and, and uh, technology, man, war, war based technology, man. Okay, and now all these other nations are turning against America, man, bending their board towards America, preparing to shoot nukes here, man. All right, so it's not far-fetched, man. That's what you see in the news and in the world today, man. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 26, verse 21. For behold, Yahweh Shemiah was shy cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Yeah, he did it before. In the times of Noah with water, with the floods, with the rain and the waters that came up from, from, from the earth, from the deep. And this time he's going to do it with the fire, man. To punish the inhabitants of the earth. Because the earth is exceedingly, has uh, waxed exceedingly wicked, man. Just just wicked, man. And nobody knows who the, who the true power is except for the Lord's um, men. Nobody want to give reverence to the true power. You got so many different gods. You got... Hundreds of different guys. You got new guys and idols coming out every day, man. On, uh, chapter 27, verse 1. In that day, the Most High with his sword and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, the crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that Cricket serpent right there in that in that scripture, Leviathan is talking about um so-called um white people, man. Edomites and y'all power. That beast. Got it right here, huh? This is Revelation 13 and 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having mm -hmm. seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the names of blasphemy. Okay, and that's talking about going into NATO, man. Alright? That 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 Leviathan, that, that cricket serpent that was in the sea. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet as unto a bear, and his mouth the, as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him power, and his seat, and great authority, man. And that leopard goes back to the Greek Empire, man, the, the beginning of Esau's rulership on the planet Earth, man. All right? And the bear is Russia, man. The, the, uh, Russia's the, the one who's going to bring it in to, uh, well, for, it's going to be used to bring it into to NATO, man. Okay? NATO, NATO's the, the, the beast that's upon the planet Earth that has inherited the power of the old dragon, man. Okay, the Roman Empire, man. NATO is the, the, the entity on the planet Earth, the military alliance on the planet Earth, exercising the power and the authority, mil uh, military-wise and politically, upon the planet Earth that Russia, uh, that uh, Rome did, man, in the ancient times, man. So that's how you know uh, that this is talking about NATO, man. Because when, when you go down, it says, who is able to make uh, war with the beast who is like unto him, man? And NATO, if one of them go to war, all of them go to war, man. Okay, right. if one of them get attacked, all of them go, uh, go to get attacked, man. And all these other nations are mimicking that, man. That's why you got uh, the BRICS, man. Okay, Russia, you got China, Brazil, and all these other nations trying to form their own uh, their own uh, military alliance to come up, up against NATO, man. Trying to be like uh, trying to be like these uh, these European Edomites and American Edomites in their in their execution of, of power and authority, man, upon the earth, man. Okay, the Lord said He coming back to judge you. Damn devils, man. That's right. That's right. That's what lets you know we in the end. Cause when, since when did that happen? Since World War II, when you had the uh, Allies versus what they called them, what they called them, the Axis, versus versus the, the, Axis the, the, the Allies versus the Axis. When do you have a group of countries um, come up and, uh, and oppose oppose this NATO and EU? You haven't had that shit going on now. That's unprecedented, unprecedented, man. That 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 hadn't happened before. Whether it be on a political stage, whether it be on the world stage, whether it be on just period, man. Every, the shit that's going on today should let you know, man, we got to be at the end. That's why niggas know in their head that shit, going, that shit is coming to an end. And that's why the Lord going to fuck them up. All the homosexuality, all the, the, trans, the transsexuals, <laughs> um, men dressing as women, um, men wanting to be goats and walk around and be goats and shit. Dogs. Clowns and shit around. Yeah. Like trying to be killer clowns. Yeah, killer. Yeah, come on now. 
Donald Trump's running for president. Oh, oh, this wicked ass bitch, Hillary Clinton's running for president and shit like that. Man, we, we in times that anybody who, who got any type of mind, you ain't even got to be in this truth, to be honest, to see that this shit is coming to an end. And with these news, you got North Korea coming against America, and America ain't did shit about it. Because they got, they got nukes too. And nukes do damage. One nuke could do damage. That's why America can't do shit with these other uh, places, man. Yeah, and speaking of uh, that, that bitch Hillary Clinton, you got uh, Vladimir Putin's uh, uh, ally, who's one of the part of the party, saying, hey, America, if you vote for Hillary Clinton, get ready for war. All right? So what the fuck? And then you have Hillary Clinton saying in the election, I, I, you know, I like watching that, those political debates. Shit, it's funny, man. She's saying, uh, you know, they told her, how would you do with Russia in the foreign policy? She's saying, look, I would put a no-fly zone. No-fly zone? You basically say you want to go to war with Russia. All right? Yeah, you think Russia? Russia yeah, the Russia's going to fly. So you got that big Hillary Clinton saying, hey, I'm ready to go to war with Russia. So for all you idiots out there thinking that uh, Donald Trump is evil, and you're gonna vote for Hillary, guess what? War's still coming. It's right. It doesn't fucking matter, all either right? Way, either way, either way, either vote you put out, yeah. you're still gonna lose, man. Yeah. Because Hillary or Hormone Land, Donald Trump, he's reckless, man. It's called, it's called um, a Galian dialect. That's what it's called, a Galian dialect. But man, if you go to the left, right, you're still playing for whoever. There's somebody behind the, somebody behind the, it's called the shots, man. But man, if you go Democrat, Republic, um, liberal, you still playing for whoever's behind that fucking, um, um, behind the scenes, man. It don't matter how you vote, you still voting for that common cause, man. And that's what Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai want, and that's what he bestowed to these fucking elites, man. Right, right. You, you people understand. You, you can go left, right, you still gonna do what the Lord wants you to do, man. That's you right. can't right. win, man. That's right. Uh -oh. that was, that was... <laughs> uh, this is Mark uh, chapter 13. Verse 4, uh, well, verse uh, verse 3, it says, And he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple. Uh, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, uh, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And he how shall I answer them and began to, uh, to say, Take heed, lest any, any man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Uh, verse 7. Well, you going, that's an example of somebody who's a man of the Lord. They want to know when the times of the end going to come. Right. If, if you say you love the Lord and you're in the scriptures, your mindset should be on when, when this shit going to go down. Yes. For two reasons, though. One, you want the end of your captivity to come, and then to make sure you're getting yourself right. Because he's coming back to destroy a lot of people. That's right. So you need to know, like, you know, that's, that's common sense. When is going to happen, man? That's what Ezra asked, right? Right, 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 right? It's in the scriptures as an example for us to be. The niggas ain't like that. that was right. Right. Verse 7. And when, she, when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes, there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Yeah, so a nigga counts the scriptures slack, or count the Most High as a liar, because now all those things are coming to pass, the earthquakes in diverse places, in all the wars. There's been rumors of wars since, um, well, af since 9-11, um, Afghanistan, Iran. Or rumors uh, not up to this point, South Korea, North Korea, in, in various places. The Cold War. It's been rumors of war. Now was the beginning of the, uh, of this end that's coming. And now we here to what them earth. Uh, six seven years ago, earthquakes wasn't everywhere like they is right now, man. They everywhere to what to the point it ain't even news no more. It's not even news that. It was two earthquakes in one place in the same day. That would have been news seven years ago, but now it happened so much. Hey, um, and, and the scriptures say it's the, begin the beginning of the sorrows, man, but it's not the end. 
because the end is, is when those countries who spread poverty out by Shemna Shah hit those red buttons, man. Yep. But for them to get to that red button hit and they got to, uh, uh, the rumors of war and the wars have to, uh, and nations going against nation, must needs to come, man. So all this, people, oh, the war not going to happen, Hillary can stop it, or Donald Trump can stop it, or whatnot. Yo, you, you're, you're retarded, man. War is inevitable, man. Right. It's going to happen, man. That's right. Let me say this, and that in that day when the news comes, that's not just gonna be a one-day event because the things that's gonna happen from that, the, the tectonic plates moving, and and you're gonna have all type of the greatest tsunamis ever going to places overseas and shit. That's gonna be a great day. That's that's the very end, man. That's right. Don't forget that the, uh, that's gonna coincide with the Lord's return, man. That's gonna coincide with the, with the Lord's return on the chariots, man. Okay, the Lord said that He's gonna come and shake the earth, man, out of its place, man. Okay, just like it was when when the Lord descended upon uh, Mount Sinai in, in Arabia, man, the earth shook, man. Right. Okay, and that was just one instant, man. So and and one chariot. How about how about uh, when when the day of the Lord comes, the chariots uh, covering the sky, man, of the whole planet Earth, man, and, nuke, and nukes everywhere, man. This is uh Book of Psalm, chapter twenty-one, verse eight. Thy hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Verse 9. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thy anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back, when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy streams against the face of them. All right, so, you know, everything is, is culminating the most high uh, recompense of what you've done, man. All, right. All you heathen nations, man. And they said arrows. He's not talking about the most high not going to shoot no bow and arrow, man. His spirit is in those nuclear missiles right. that he's going to send over there to pay back the, the, the debt that you owe, plain and simple. God, and just to back up what everything the brother is saying, this is Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithsoever he will. So the Lord is going to make sure Putin, okay, whoever's president here in America, um, the Chinese president, Filipino president, the Iranian president, those are your modern day kings. He's going to put it in their mind, hey, shoot them nukes, man. And they're not going to be like, no, I'm going to stop. No, well, I'm going to think about it. No, he's going to make sure that it's in their heart, their mind, which is wild, correct? Right? Come on, you know, to, hey, like they say, push the red button. That's what's going to happen, man. So, this, so all you people thinking that the Lord is, is not a man of his word, you're smoking rocks, man. He is a man of his word, man. Uh, uh, this is uh, Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this is the and this shall be the plague, and this shall be. Not might be. Not might be. Not it would be. be. Could no. be. Could be. Flip a coin. Pick a card, any card. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, right. <laughs> <It exists. laughs> and this this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. What's the only Asia on earth that could do that? Fire, man. Burgers. Fire, yeah, and then on top of that, in modern times, man. In modern times, because it's talking about the game, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these buildings are ready to ignite. They're like a powder keg, ready to be use to make that fire just keep going, man. That was a vision, man. Mm -hmm. Only noops, noops can make your flesh go away while you're standing upon your feet, man. And make your eyes consume away. That means it has to be happening quick, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it, was, if it was just you getting lit on fire, you could run around, you know, it might not happen. But it has yeah. to be intense fire. It has to be happening fast at the same time, man. With so force. You, yeah, with force. So you're standing and all your flesh done came off. 
your tongue done fell out, your eyes done came out too, man. That's that's a nuclear missile, man. That's a nuclear blast wave, man. That's right. And that's what happened to Sarah Connor. God. That same ex, 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 uh, vision that Zechariah seen, that's the same thing that the producer with James Cameron put in Terminator 2. How ironic. Mm -hmm. oh, that's just funny. This is Psalm 7 and 11. Yahweh judges the righteous, and, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. So the, so the Most High, he's a just power, man. So he judges the righteous, and he's angry with the wicked, and America is uh, full of wickedness, man. And it says, if he turn not, he will wet his sword, means to sharpen, he says. He, he have been his bow and made it ready. So those nukes are ready, man. When, when, when they when the most high uh, put a spirit on these kings to press those hit that red button it's gonna come it's gonna come it says he have also prepared him it's a lot he have also prepared for him the instruments of death he ordained his arrows against the persecutors man and that's what that's what those nukes was made for man to destroy Esau man and destroy the wicked and the persecutors of Israel man. Uh -huh. and it's gonna be two hundred million of them man right yeah. They got all the missiles, and they don't tell you, they tell you that, oh, Russia got 9,000 missiles, America got this certain amount of missiles. That's what they want to tell you, but they ain't telling you that a missile could hold 15 um, warheads in it, man. Just like they could make a thousand cars in one day, they could make a thousand nukes in one day. And, and that's not far-fetched because the, uh, when Hiroshima and Nagasaki happened, that was the beginning of, hey, man, now these nations can start... Um, Using nukes on other nations. So from that time period now, you don't you two hundred million, like the scripture says, because they've been making missiles since that time. Uh, from that point of time all the way now, man, they've been making missiles. All those um, nuclear treaties, non-proliferation treaties. That's all bullshit, man. That's all. Those are nice fluffy words to keep you stupid people docile, man, right. and not and not believe what's coming, man. All right, like like the brother uh, Ramak always said, they built them. They built the uh, sword, they used the sword. They built the gun, they used the gun. They built the nukes, they're gonna use the nukes. It's plain, man. Like you're saying, to back that up, they saying that uh, Kim Jong-un is not nuclear capable. Yes. How the fuck when he making videos of America being destroyed by nuclear fire? Hey. And he threatened them with nuclear capability. Yeah. Hey, 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 King Jong-un, one of the, the, King Jong-un, one of the most ballsiest war leaders, bro. Uh, uh, this nigga, this nigga said, after he did his last nuclear test that they deemed the biggest one, he said he has enough uh, nuclear capability to erase America off the map, bro, alone. Hey. So you keep talking your shit, America, man. Hey, Putin, Putin, Putin said, you Americans believe a tall tale, man. Yeah. He's like, that's what's so scary, because y'all don't know what's coming for y'all, man. That's right. And I showed it, I showed it to a brother some up, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. don't know what's coming for y'all, man, because y'all believe a fucking tall right. tale. They right. tell you these people don't have nukes. I think, oh, they don't have nukes. These people got nuclear capability too, man. All right? That's why uh, 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 Obama them not reacting to what they're saying. When, when, when did that become cool for you to threaten America and just nothing happens? Yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here, man. That's right, man. Hey, man, and it's, real, it's retarded, man, because even if, even if uh, they didn't have uh, nuclear capabilities, they're in allegiance with nations who do, man, right. who have the means to make nuclear missiles and already have them. So all they have to do is just set up nuclear silos over there, like they do, like they did in Cuba, man. Right. Okay, and, and and just use that as a strategic point to blow a Japan off the fucking map, man. They, uh, right. they don't even, they don't even need, they don't even need nuclear silos no more, man. That's why they got the trucks, man. That's why they got the trucks. There's no time to build. You just send a truck over there that can hold the nuke. Bring it up to uh, close their wings to hit that country. Get that shit loose, man. These people got, they got, they got chemists, man. Just like America got chemists, they got chemists too, man. They, they know the recipe how to make nukes, man. Right. You, you get some uh, fucking uranium, you mix it this, this, that, and you got a fucking nuke, man. That's right. It, it, this shit ain't really rocket science, man. And hey, if America could do it, these other heathens could do it because. These Edomites in America, they lower than these other Edomites, man. And chemists are for sale. Those scientists, they for sale. Albert Einstein in World War II who helped um, build the atomic bomb, he was for sale. Because German, Germany could have got him. They, they was bidding for him. So he ended up giving that um, 
ended up giving that final, that finished work to America. They, that, everything for selling this wicked ass right. And who been winning the arms race? Russia. Yep. Russia. Who, who wanted uh, the uh, uh, race to go into space? Russia. Mm -hmm. Who built your technologies? Russia, Russia. and China. Yeah. Right. Man, man, you Americans, man, y'all, y'all finna get it, you Americans, man. For real, man. And show you how, show you how, uh, how sleep these people are, man. These people trust in, 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 in the governments and their dignitaries here in America that don't even care about them, man. Who wouldn't care about you Americans more than your fucking leaders do, man? For real, bro. Like he, he was, he was, uh, he was on news, like. Yo, man, I don't know what I could say to reach these people, man. Right. I'm trying to reach them, but they not listening, man. Mm -hmm. Cause you know what, Poo, you know, in the back of Poo's mind, like, in the back I'm, of his mind, he like, maybe if y'all rise up and start a coup and go against y'all government, y'all can probably prevent this from happening. Yeah, so I won't have to blow you niggas away. Right. Man. That's right. It's about that life. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the scripture, the, the Lord made him about that life. Right. Uh, yeah, Revelations. This is Revelations 14 and 9, 14 and 8. Uh, and there were, uh, there were followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Yeah, we ain't said it, the scripture said it. Verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive the, uh, his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink, shall drink, of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Yeah, so anybody take that chip, which is coming, because they, they, America, they're going to dress that up for you. Just like they say North Korea ain't got no nukes, they're going to tell you that the chip is good for you. That's right. Just like they tell you Hillary Clinton is a Christian woman. <laughs> They gon' they gonna dress this they gonna dress that um chip up for for um for these Americans, man. And if you take that chip, you're gonna get that raft of the most high without mixture, man. No mercy mixed in there nowhere. It's just straight wrath. In its purest form. It's fire. That's right. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the of the of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb and the smoke of their torment shall as ascend it up forever and ever. And uh, they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his, of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Yahweh Shai. Uh, and I heard a voice from heaven uh, saying unto me, right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works who follow them. And said, here's the patience of the saints. That's what we're supposed to be looking forward to. Mm -hmm. The fire to come upon America, man. Yeah, and just to lay it home, this is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So y'all don't have to believe what we're saying, even though that we bring out numerous and numerous uh, facts, articles, okay, telling you the times we're living in. But at the end of the day, this is about faith and belief. We believe Russia's going to use them nukes on America. We believe, okay, that you so-called white people are going into slavery. We believe, okay, that we're going to have you so-called white people in subjection whooping your ass. Okay? But for in order for that to happen, we believe that World War III is here. We feel it. We see it. Okay? And once they put out that chip, it's crunch time, man. Right. Hey, and it got to be crunch time, man, because because the scriptures say uh, that when that uh, when that chip comes out, it says that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, okay, in the name of the beast and the number of his name, man. Okay, so it's gonna the the system's gonna change to the point where it's gonna be uh, the, the the current currencies of the planet Earth are gonna become worthless, man. Okay, so they gonna they gonna move over to the mark of the beast, which is that RFID chip and its various associated technologies, man, so that you can buy or sell. But guess what? If the currencies of the planet are become worthless, then that means that economic collapse happen, all right, and that will push 
of the world further into World War Three, man. That's right. Yeah. Because yeah. because then it's gonna become it's gonna become a fight for uh, a resource. fight for for resources yeah. and surviving, bro. That's right. That's why these nations are stockpiling gold and shit, man, and resources. That's why, man, because they know what's what's coming, man. This is Romans 13 and 11. In that, knowing the time, that is, that now it is high time to awake down to sleep. You know, the, knowing the times that we're in right now, when, when the time of uh, Yahweh shall return it, in World War Three, you know, Yahweh shall come back to uh, gather his elect, you know. And so it's a high time to wake out of sleep. You're supposed, you're supposed to be watching for prophecy, man. And, um, watching the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that's pushing out this truth. You know? It says, for our salvation is nearer than when, nearer than when we believe, you know, because because in order for World War, I mean, when World War Three coming, that's our kingdom coming, uh, coming into fruition, and the elect getting delivered. Lord, we're a part of the elect, you know. So we gotta look for that. Man. Yeah, and uh, and uh, with that, you know, Lord, when we edify you, brothers, we wanna give all praise and glory to you. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations and greetings to the elect. I can push this word in truth and sincerity. And on three, death to America. One, two, three. Death to America! Shut up.